What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and the Dragon Bones DLC is out now. So I'm wanting to go over features that are released with this uh, DLC and show you guys exactly what all happened. Well, one of the main features that I'm wanting to go over in this particular video is the storage chest that they just put into the game. And this is a very, very good feature. All right, so normally whenever you have your character, you have to store your items either in your backpack on your character or else in its bank space. And there's only a limited amount of bank space that you can use. So otherwise, people run out of bank space. Sometimes you can put into your guild bank or something, but that's highly dependent on uh, your guild allowing that to happen or if, if you're running the guild, then you can determine, I guess. But what a lot of people have been doing in order to uh, create a loophole to this is they're creating alternate characters that are acting just as additional banks. So they'll take their main character and move all the extra items over to their alternate character and that alternate character's only reason for existence is holding on to extra items for you. Well, they've solved that problem now and what they did is they put in these storage chests that you can place in your house and they will hold additional items for you you can buy them from the crown store here and uh the one on the right is the smaller version this is the oaken storage coffer and uh it holds 30 slots of items so that's quite a bit and it costs 1000 crowns in order to purchase this now how much is that in us dollars well if you buy the smallest package of crowns that you can in order to afford this item that would be the thousand five hundred crown package which costs fifteen dollars which would make it exactly about ten dollars worth of crowns in order to buy this chest uh now is this chest worth ten dollars that's completely up to you i'm not sure uh, but I know this is a very good item, so uh, buying it definitely won't hurt having it in the game. Alright, so the second chest that they have is the Fortified Storage Chest, and this one costs 2,000 crowns for 60 slots worth of items. If you're wondering how much is 2,000 crowns, well, you can, both, uh, you can double this one. But in reality, if you bought the smallest crown package in order to be able to afford this item, you'd have to buy the 3,000 crown package, and that's about $25. So you're getting a little more of a value than you would if you bought the smaller package. So that would make it to where 2,000 crowns would equal about $17, $18, something like that. So a little bit better of a value than this one, but uh, a little more costly. So yeah, it's completely up to you whether it's worth it or not. All right, so another thing that you can do with these chests apparently is you can name them. So otherwise you can uh, put labels on them and move them around your house. Uh, also, all these chests are apparently connected. So if you open up one chest, you should be able to access all of them which would be very very nice and that way you don't have to run all around your house in order to be able to find this stuff um, another thing about it is that the the items in these chests will not appear in your crafting stations so normally whenever you go to like the blacksmithing crafting station you uh you will see all the items from your bank are also listed on the menu of your blacksmithing menu and uh, that allows you to break down items or whatever else you would like to do straight from your bank at the crafting station. Well, the items in these chests will not be a part of that list. They are completely separate from the crafting stations. So that's pretty nice to me. I mean, that makes it to where I don't have to worry about uh, having all kinds of items on my crafting menus and I can easily break down items from dungeons or whatever else I'm wanting to do without having to navigate through everything else. So I think this is a great feature. Invest in it if you think it's worth it. I think they're really cool, but it's up to you whether you think so or not. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If anything I said in this video is not absolutely accurate, uh, I'll record a new video and have it updated. Uh, I also want to say that uh, I do not recommend you buy this stuff just yet because anytime an expansion or DLC is released in any game, generally there are bugs and uh, you don't want to lose your items. There's already multiple people on Reddit saying that they have taken their alternate character 
which they were using as a bank. They unloaded all their items into these chests, and then they went ahead and deleted that bank character, and lo and behold, whenever they went on their main character and came back to the chest, the items were not there. So now they're having to go through all the effort of submitting a help request and all that, and that's just really leaving it up to the hands of uh, Bethesda, whether they can track your items, whether they're going to give them back to you or not, it's it's just a hassle, and I don't want anybody to lose all their items, so I would hold off on buying this stuff just yet, and give it about a week or so until all the bugs can be ironed out, and you can feel a little more safe about doing this. Alright guys, as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.